the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray for our brother to our Lord Jesus Christ, who said, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will live even in death. And every living person who puts his faith in me will never suffer eternal death. Lord, you wept at the death of Lazarus, your friend. Comfort us now in our sorrow. We ask this in faith. Lord, hear our prayer. You who raised the dead to life, give our brother eternal life. We ask this in faith. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, by the three days you lay in the tomb, you made holy the graves of all who believe in you. And even though their bodies lie on the earth, they trust that they, like you, will rise again. Give our brother peaceful rest in his grave until that day when you will raise him up in glory. Then may he see the light of your presence. Lord Jesus Christ, in the kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be. Don't be in such a rush to join the Padre, Frankie. Hurt a bit, Padre. Oh, 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 Jesus, oh, Mary, and Joseph. No. <laughs> Expensive embalming, Frank. Cuff him. Father, looks like you're going to have to continue alone. The state's evidence now. Let's go. Let's go, Frankie. Good thing too far, Frankie. Hey, I just buried him, Mitchin. He's got a law against that, too. Hey, these cuffs are cutting me, man. You'll live, Frank. Hey, Hardo, did you hear what I said? I said, hey, Frank, come on, you little man. pussy. <laughs> hey, hey, Bickle have his out here 24 hours, man. Yeah, don't bet on it. Things kind of tied up with the grandeur these days, in case you haven't heard. Get in and shut up! This is Connie Wayne of Action News, here on the steps of the federal courthouse, awaiting the appearance of reputed mob overlord, Vic Luca. This is the final week of his federal racketeering hearing. Controversy centers around the disappearance of three key government witnesses, all former associates of Mr. Luca. The latest to disappear, Vincent Corelli, was discovered yesterday, his mutilated body stuffed inside a garbage truck. He's coming now. One at a time, all right? Let's, let's take some shots for the album, okay? Everybody, cheese. There we go. Thank you. Mr. Luca, would you care to comment on your hearing? Connie, you calling out a hearing? You know, I call out a three-ring circus in there. They got animals, jugglers, you've got a couple of clowns. Mr. Luca, you made the cover of Time last week. What do you think of the article? <laughs> Well, that was, that was kind of amusing, wasn't it? I mean, where do they dream up some of this stuff? You know, they wrote that I wear $1,000 suits. I want to tell you, this is going to cost 1800 bucks anywhere. You don't seem to be taking this hearing very seriously, Mr. Luca. You do face life in prison. All I'm facing is harassment, Connie. The prosecution has not brought forth one witness. They had three witnesses, Mr. Luca. They disappeared. Well, maybe they got stage fright. Uh -huh. Connie, I'm just an honest businessman. I'm being persecuted because some of these fairs have got this uh, half-baked, uh, crazed idea that there's a thing called a mafia. Well, I want to say something about that. I'm going to quote Mr. J. Edgar Hoover. There is no mafia. End of quote. Ha! Do you hear that, you guys in the FBI? Mitchum, I'm throwing you forward. I'm giving you a challenge. What about you? You're what the fucking judge? You know how hard it is to touch a federal judge these days? Gravenstein, I don't care how hard or how much. I just want you to buy her. Hey, why else would I hire one of you to get me off, huh? Because you know any smart Italians. Huh? Well, I'll see what I can do, Vic. Yeah, I'm on my way back. Why? What? Gosh! God damn, Mitchum, he picked up Frank and Abe. God damn it! Hey, Dad, she's whipped? <laughs> All right, son, I'm whipped. Well, why don't you come up here and help me patch this roof? Yeah. Hey, someone's moving in. Yeah? 
Yeah, I noticed that. Maybe they got some kids your age. Sure got a lot of cars. Dad, we need to talk. What's the matter, son? You got a problem? Come on, what is it? Ever since I won the garage tournament, the sensei's been matching me with bigger guys. Well, it just makes you stretch. Pushes you a little. It makes me hurt. Mm. Yeah, I can see that. If I'm gonna fight bigger guys, I need bigger offense. Yeah, I agree with you. You don't say anything to your mother, huh? Come on. <laughs> Maybe I should just kick him in the butt. <laughs> Maybe. It feels like I'm walking on air. <laughs> on. Chris, it's Dr. Johnson. I'll take him back. Excuse me for a minute. <laughs> oh, yeah. Why don't you write up this stuff for? Okay. Yeah, what's up? I want to place another order. Two pairs this time. Yeah. guys are lost in the desert, see, right? Both of them starving to death. They spot this dead vulture. I mean, all dead and covered with maggots. So this first guy eats the vulture. The other guy, he can't believe this. After about two hours, the guy upchucks the vulture. And the other guy smiles and he says, I knew if I waited long enough, I'd get a hot meal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Sickness it is. It's 
It's your turn to check it out. What do you call a midget fortune teller who escapes the joint? A small medium at large. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, uh. Hey, Wait, wait, I got another one. They saved your voice, Fazio. Yeah, you're gonna do a lot of singing tomorrow. <laughs> now that's funny, huh? That's a real fucking joke, you know? <laughs> I wouldn't laugh. Either you or Vic are gonna spend a long, long time in here, old man. I suppose you still believe in the fucking tooth fairy, too, huh? <sighs> Time to get some coffee. call an 89 pound Ethiopian. I heard that one. Tom, can I talk to you outside, please? Shut up. ...from a high-ranking source that Frank DeSalvo, Vic Lucas' right-hand man, has been placed under federal protective custody. What the hell is this? DeSalvo will testify against a reputed mob lord. A second witness, Abe Fazio, was assassinated last night despite all efforts. What's this shit doing on TV, huh? Who the fuck is this high-ranking source? I don't know anything about this. Somebody does! They know you assholes are hiding me! What if they know where you're hiding? I got a kid in there! That's it. You ain't keeping me here, because I know the law! You've broken every law that there is. Don't blow it out your ass, you fat fuck you. Hey, Tom! Some bitch! Stay out of this, Jerry! You hear me better now? Fuck you, man, you cocksucker! You hear me better, Frank? It's taken me three years to get Vic Luca in front of a grand jury, so help me. You gonna testify. Good luck, Mitch. Good luck? Yeah, I feel like I got a horseshoe up my ass, Frank. You gonna help me nail this guy, or you gonna do time? And we're talking about hard time. And just maybe, maybe, I'll help you and your son out of my girl ass. You'll leave my son out of this. Hey, Mitch, what do you want me to do? You want me to end up like Abe? One of the other guys on Vic's hit list? Your word means dog shit to me. I ain't testifying. Okay, smart ass, you're calling the shots. I can't make you testify. Now you got it right. See, Frank DeSalvo don't snitch on nobody. I don't give a damn about you. But I do care about that little boy in there. And I want you to think about something. You're going to be doing 10 to life, Frank. San Quentin. He's not going to have any mother, nobody. Now you fucking think about that. Okay. Dad, all they got is microwave pancakes. Come here. They ain't got no microwave. It's because these guys ain't got no brains like I told you. Why well, can we go home, Dad? Won't be long, son. Your dad's got a few things to take care of first. Right, Frank? Then can we go home? You're going to have a new home. 
You're going to have new friends, new school. Your dad is even going to have a new job. Hey, let's go see if we can find some sugar and we'll eat the thing soggy. <laughs> Man, I always knew you had it in you. you no, know, your dad tells me that some big guys been picking on you at school. Don't worry about it. One of these days, I'm gonna have to teach you some moves. That kid won't even know what hit him. Yeah. <laughs> totally cool. <laughs> Brian. Hello, Sandy. How are you, sweetheart? I'm good. I'm good, good to see you. Listen, can you stay over? I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Come on, kid. Let's go inside and talk some business. All right. Well, honey, did you bag anything? <laughs> what else you got? The uh, color TVs just come in, 200 of them. Yeah. Remote control? Uh, I don't think so. You don't think so, that? You don't think so? What are you, stupid? Everybody wants them with remote control. How am I going to move this stuff without remote control? Huh? Shit, you're stupid. Okay, I'll tell you what. You take them over to East L.A. and you sell them to wetbacks. They're too scared to bitch about being fucked. What else you got? So we've got uh, 350 VCRs and uh, food. Well, we got lots of food. Steak, champagne, caviar, shrimp. Well, all this stuff out of here by tomorrow, right? No problem. <coughs> Well, it's a sad story. It belonged to a guy who owed me some money he couldn't pay him, so he had an accident. You know, I, I need a hotel about like a bull needs tits, but uh, I've enjoyed using his credit. We ordered all this stuff, hardware, liquor, cars. Hey, you want a caddy? Huh? Clean, man, it ain't hot. Have a pink slip. We got any fucking thing you want around here. Stuff comes in the front door and it goes out the back. Keep that going until his credit snaps. Then maybe this place is going to have an accident, you know? It looks pretty good now, but uh, the wiring's kind of shoddy. Uh, we collect the insurance. Beautiful. Look at this guy. You know why he's smiling? He loves to steal, hey? If you gave this guy a million dollars and say you can't steal, he'd be very unhappy. And he'd come along and whack you in the head. He'd steal a million dollars and make him very, uh, very, very happy. Very happy. Yeah. When my people are happy, I'm happy. When my people are unhappy, I'm unhappy. If somebody makes me unhappy, I send for you. God's insurance, but... I got a promotion. A new Western Division supervisor. Christ, if you don't watch out, they're gonna have you in the Rotary Club. <laughs> hey, you know, pal, maybe you better start putting away some money. So what? Well, you're gonna be a godfather. That's a mighty expensive proposition. Congratulations. My old friend Abe ends up as a doorstop. <laughs> <laughs> Power is uh, the double-edged sword. When you get it, you think that the struggle's over, but only that's when the real war begins, because then you gotta keep it. Everybody wants it. They wanna take it away from you. You ever heard of uh, Machiavelli? No. Is he from around here? 16th century Italian statesman, philosopher, advisor to emperors. Machiavelli knew something about power, how to hold on to it. He told it like it is. Nail them before they nail you. You don't care about stuff like that, do you? <laughs> what do you think of this guy? He don't want a Cadillac, huh? He never heard of Machiavelli, huh? Shoe salesman. He gets off on a different kind of power. Here's another old friend of mine, Frank DeSalvo. I 
known him since he was a kid. A real good friend. This is where they got him hiding out. Nailing. Little ninja, ain't you? Yeah. I'll right, tell you what. Let's go around back and work on it some more. <laughs> All right. Come in. Block. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, come. Keep that elbow in. Protect your face. All right, here we go, here we go. Block, good block. All right, block, good, 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 good. All right, what you looking at? What are you watching? Shoulders away. Shoulders away. She's like, keep your eye on that. Oh, keep your eye on me. Keep your eye on me. Oh, what is that? Is that a kick? All right. Let an old man take a break. Come on, Uncle Brian, teach me some offensive moves. Defense first, then offense. That's where your father wants it. What does he know? I'm the one getting creamed. He just sells house insurance. Now, you know he knows a lot more than you do, Sonny. Come on, don't say your father's short. He's a tough guy, and you know it. Hey! You guys want to ride with me down to the lumber company? I got to get some more shingles. No, I'm not through with this little monster yet. You guys have fun. <laughs> Come on, let's go.
Hey, don't look at me. Your father, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Ow! I told you not to look at me. Somebody, the wrong house, took the wrong kid, killed the wrong guy. What'd you say? Huh? What the hell did you just say? Uh, Collins, we'd like you to go with us. Uh, I'll explain as soon as we get someplace we can talk. Who the fuck are you? We're FBI. Well, if you're the FBI, why don't you go find my kid? I'm staying with my wife. Mr. Collins, your wife's gonna be fine. What we need you to do right now is come with us. We got a few questions. Get your fucking hands oh, hey, off! Hey, 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 hey! Let him go. Let him go. Now listen, calm down. Now listen to me. Why don't you go inside, get your coat? We'll take you to the hospital to see your wife. All right? Okay. It's all right. It's okay. This guy's gonna be trouble. We gotta move to Salvo. What's that little uh? Hotel on Flower Street. What's it called? Starlight? That's it. We'll take him there, okay? Collins, ready? Don't worry about a thing. Uh, just concentrate on your wife. Officer Burke here will go along with you, make sure everything's okay. Right, Burke? Right. Come on, Collins. Come on, we'll give you a ride. Watch your head. As soon as he talks to his wife, book him. Somebody do it. Somebody to whack the salvo, right? Okay, whoever it was got the wrong house, couldn't find the salvo, but they took this kid. Now think about this. Look, he thinks he's got the salvo. Well, hey, come on, lay off. Hey, look, Jerry. There's only two things I want to do before they plant my ass. I want to nail Vic Luca, and I want to be able to enjoy my cigarettes. Okay, will you lay off? Oh shit! Listen to me. Hey, listen. Come here. Listen. Now, as long as Luca thinks. That he's got DeSalvo's kid, and he figures that Frankie won't show up to testify against him tomorrow. Right? Yeah. Well, I want him to keep on thinking. Now. Whoa, 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 what are you saying? That we keep Collins on ice till after the trial so he can't shoot off his mouth to the press and everybody else? Then we find his kid, let him go, and everybody's gonna be happy? You got it. Jesus, Tom. It's all Luca to you, isn't it? Look, Jerry, you and I both know I got maybe a year left. It's my last case. Now, I gotta make it count, and there's not a damn thing I can do about it. I know, Tom, but all I am trying to do I know here what you're is... trying to do. Now, let's move the fucking creep, all right? Hello? 
Everything should be all right, Mr. Collins. No fractures, the vital signs are stable. She's just sleeping off one hell of a whack on the head. No, doctor, she was pregnant. She lost the baby. The trouble is just too great. Sorry. Today, looking for some food there, protector. Oh, no. huh? <laughs> Man's in there with his wife now. She's hurt. His friend's dead, and his son is kidnapped. You know what they want me to do? Huh? What? They want me to lock him up. Well, they moved that piece of crap across town. I can't you, believe it. You figure they're taking him over to the Starlight Motel. We think it'll be okay, baby. It'll be all right. Hey, hold on there, Colin. Colin, I said hold on. Oh. 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 Security. Who cares? Security. Security. Well, he wasn't there. But I got his kid. What? You got Frank Jr.? Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. That's beautiful. Listen, you take good care of that kid because he's my life insurance. <laughs> yeah. Suddenly, I can't wait to hear Frank's testimony tomorrow. Hey, thanks, man. Yeah. Kids, no. Are you married? To the job, Frank. To the job. Yeah, me too. But I still had a wife. And a mistress and a couple of girlfriends. You're a real pillar of the community, huh, Frank? Now, that's something the kid can really be proud of. Boy, you and me, we're from different planets. See, you don't understand the system. Guys like me and Vic, we could never rat out each other. If you do that, it's worse than dying. It's like you're not a man no more. You got no honor. Honor? The guy tries to kill you. No, he wouldn't kill me. At least I've known him since I was a kid. He was like an uncle to me. I'm sure I seen him smile at guys like uh, they were his best friends in the whole world. Meanwhile, he's digging their graves out back, but not me. Well, he's not going to be digging any more graves because he's going to rot in the joint. And you're going to walk if you're smart. If you cooperate with me, Frank, I'll set you up for life. Sure. And then you, you retire with a lousy pension. And you spend the next 20 years walking around playing golf, wearing stupid plaid pants. The big hero. 
The guy who put away Vic Luca. What about me and my kid, Mitchum? We become targets for every hood in town looking to make his bones. Well, yeah, that's a chance you'll have to take in the drink. Go upstairs and check. I'm gonna go around the back and look around. took you so long. Oh, leave him alone. It takes time to prepare this gourmet shit. But greasy burgers, right? My mouth is watering. Well, huh? so by the office. And, uh, Tom? What? The boys got that out of your phone. Vic knows every move we make. God damn those slimy son of a bitches! How long has this been going on? What the fuck is wrong with our people? I don't know. Nobody knows. You mean nobody cares? You got that right, Chief. I hate to leave your elegant dinner party, but I'm gonna go take a shower and go to sleep. My name is Collins. You're gonna help me get my son back. Your son? Shit, you're the guy from across the street. You just shut up and drive. I almost wish you were one of Vic's guys. You wanna tell me where we're going? Yeah. We're gonna see Vic Luca. You don't just go to see Vic Luca! <laughs> I understand. You made it perfectly clear you're upset. But look, Collins, you don't want to bring me to Vic Luca. That's the last thing you want to do. Now put all five of your brain cells together and just listen to me. And talk. Nobody tells Vic what to do. You walk us in there, he's going to have me for an appetizer, you for the main course, and your kid for dessert. I'm probably the only guy that can help you find your kid. Stop the car. Oh, right now. Listen to me. If you're not on the level, I'll blow your fucking brains out. Look, I don't know where your kid is. But I know where we can start. You guys are driving me crazy. You're back here every 30 minutes. I've already told you, I don't know where they're hiding Frank. Oh, yeah? How come I don't believe you? Vic wants your motherfucking son, or what Vic wants, Vic gets, understand? Oh, that's something, hey, Pete! Stop, stop it, stop it, Z! You know something, George? Let go of it! You know let go of me! Open that fucking door! 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 Now, be cool, man, and keep that piece buried. But where the hell are you taking me? Pizza. Pizza? Pizza! You gotta be kidding me. 
You think you're some kind of comedian? This is my father's joint, all right? He has a lot of things. What the hell? Pa! 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 Listen, there's nothing you can do to help your father now. I'm sorry. I really am sorry. But they still got my kid. I'll help you get your son. If you help me get a look. That's him. Come on, hit him! Run the fuck down! Damn, watch out! Damn. Come on, man! Come on! Welcome to the Fortune Hey, out of the way! Come on! 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 Come Grab the rocket! Now answer the man! Okay, okay! Uh, Frank, look what you've done to me. My colleague's got him! Who the hell is that? You are the shoe salesman! Dictator! Where's my kid? I swear I don't know! I know the place. We'll be there tomorrow morning. Now just stay cool and get out of here, all right? Come on. Congratulations, Paul. This is out of respect for my father. Disperse to exit. Disperse to exit. Disperse to exit. Touch it too. A miserable scumbag bastard. The cell will always kill more of my people than I am. You can take it easy. If he's on the streets, we'll find him. What the fuck are you waiting for? I don't give a damn about Collins, but I want DeSalvo's ass in that courthouse, and I want him there by uh, noon tomorrow. Tomorrow, DeSalvo could be anywhere. <laughs> Jerry, please, just do it, all right? Are you sure you're going to make it till tomorrow? Yeah, I'll be there. <laughs> Go on, get out of here. And stake out Lucas Hotel. <laughs> When I was a kid, I used to work in that pizza joint, and I hated it. But every time I slacked off, my poppy would jump on my case 
But I knew he loved me. No matter what I did, he loved me. And I loved him. And we knew it, man. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. Hey. Vic's hitter. He's a sick bastard. A real kinko. Why can't we go after him tonight? I don't even think Vic can get to him at home. But everybody knows where he works. Look, don't worry. As long as your kid's valuable to them, ain't nothing gonna happen. Trust me. You and your kid, you got a lot more to say to one another. Me and my old man, we said it all. We were good. You and your kid can be good. We'll get past Kalik. Kalik? Fucking mafia. That's just a word. Everybody thinks it's this big secret cult. Guys running around with mustaches, speaking Sicilian, making you offers that you can't refuse. Well, it's bullshit. There's guys like you, the suckers, with your real jobs and your pensions and your two and a half kids. Guys like me, not just Italians, everybody. The scam artists, the con men, the wise guys. And then there's guys like Vic. Vic's my FBI. He gives me protection. I'm what, the cops? Cops? Cops are easy. Vic says taking care of cops is like raising chickens. All you need is the chicken feed. Shit. I fed more cops kids in the fucking police pension fund. The real protection is from other guys like me. We got a certain set of rules we gotta respect. You jump outside the rules, you're in deep shit. Yeah, like taking my kid? Is that outside your rules? Yeah. That's deep shit in my rule book. You're okay, Collins. For a sucker? Sure. For a sucker. She ain't wearing no panties. If that was me, I'd bang her right there. In front of everybody. I won't give a shit. That's the guy that killed Brian? That's the guy that got my son? Hey, Collins. That guy is so twisted. When he dies, he's gonna have to screw him in the ground. He's killed so many people, he owns his own cemetery. Let's take him. Oh, oh. You think you saw us? Nah, I don't think so. He probably just went in the back for some more shoes. More shoes, my ass. Jesus, Jack, take it easy. I don't give a damn. That son of a bitch has got my kid. I'll tell you one thing, that guy's got brass balls. Look at the plates. You think he's gonna lead us to Kenny? Maybe. Maybe not. Hey, Collins, your kid ain't here. This is Vic's place. He comes here every morning for his sit-downs. But you know something? This could be good. Because it's the only place where people can walk in off the street and go right up to Vic. And we got Kalik and Vic in the same place. Huh? Let's go get him. Hey, whoa. Buster Badass, you are playing in the major leagues here. You do things my way, or you do it alone. This may be your world, but it's my kid. Got it? You are a real Dunsky. Yeah, well, fuck you. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Look at this.
Christ, he's gonna shoot. All right, raise up real easy. Put your gun on the deck. I never thought I'd be so happy to see the feds. Sorry about your dad, but I've got to be in court in two hours, Frank. Hey, save us both some time. I'm still not testifying. Let's go. Let's go, Collins. You too. Let him go. He didn't do nothing. What does he mean to you, Frank? I'll tell you what he means to me, wise guy. Huh? He don't walk, I don't talk. You got that? Hey, wait a minute. You're saying if you'll testify, we'll let this guy walk? Yeah, sure. Walk, Collins. Hey, good luck with that shoe store. Go to court, Frank. Hey, Mitchell, let's go to court. You miserable cocksucker bastard. You ain't gonna put me away. Frank ain't got a touch! I see you in court, sweetie! Where'd you guys get this suit from me? Goodwill? It's embarrassing. Keep wearing it, Frank. You come back in style. I want Kalik. Give me his address. Mr. DeSavo, would you please tell the court what you do for a living? Lately? I've been trying to hide. Before that, what was your job? Officially, I was the manager of the Celestial Funeral Home. And as manager, what were your duties? As few as I could make them. He ain't gonna say nothing. Uh, Mr. DeSalvo. What has been your main source of income? I've been real lucky at the track lately. <laughs> I'm referring to your activities for Mr. Vic Luca. I did a lot of things for Vic. Would you please point Mr. Luca out for the court? Right there. Would you describe in detail just what it was you did for Mr. Luca? Whatever he wanted. Yeah. Dad. Dad. 
I came for the boy. Who the hell are you? I'm his father, you asshole. His father? You're not Frank DeSalvo's kid? You piece of shit? No, he's my son. Well, go ahead and shoot. I'll break his fucking neck anyway. You gotta shoot. Come on, shoot. Dad! Go ahead, shoot. Come on, it's your kid. Maybe you get lucky. What did you have to do to remain in Mr. Lucas' organization? What do you mean? Let me be more specific, Mr. DeSalvo. Did Vic Luca ever order you to perform any activities which were illegal or immoral? Illegal or immoral? Objection, Your Honor. He's leading the witness. Overruled. I'll repeat the question, Mr. DeSalvo. Did Vic Luca ever ask you to perform any activities which were illegal or immoral? Yeah, he did. Please, continue. About a year, year and a half ago, Vic asked me to go to this certain address downtown where I was to meet a certain person and bring this person to Vic's hotel for an illegal meeting. Was this person involved um, in any sector of organized crime? Oh, yeah, prostitution. I see. And was this person, one of Mr. Luca's men, running this prostitution operation? No. This person was a hooker. Vic screwed her. See? But the hooker had a social disease, and she gave it to Vic. And Vic gave it to his wife, and he was sitting out from a public toilet. You're insulting my wife. You're dead, you rat. Order. Order. Salvo, Vic Luca is reputedly one of the largest heroin importers in this country. Do you have any knowledge of his involvement with narcotics? I'm with Nancy Reagan. I just say no. <laughs> Mr. Prosecutor. You don't seem to be communicating with your witness very well. Now, we're going to take a short recess, and you'll try and talk some sense into it. This hearing will recess for five minutes.
Hey, Frank, I knew you wouldn't say nothing. <laughs> I ain't even started yet, Vic. You, you know what's gonna happen to that kid of yours if you say one fucking word, you know? Vic, cool it, huh? Your salesman, he fucked up the house call. He grabbed the kid from across the street. You expect me to believe that? Pits of the man. I want the guy dead. Huh? I want his family dead. I want his mother dead because she gave birth to this creep. So it was your understanding that Mr. Luca was involved in the importation of... Objection, Your Honor. Are we now reduced to talking about third-hand knowledge? Mr. Gravenstein, your constant objections are really beginning to annoy me. Now let's get on with it. Your objection is overruled. Your Honor, don't you think this farce has gone on long enough? It's obvious that Mr. DeSalvo has no knowledge of my client's alleged criminal activities and... Counsel. Your client is scum, and he already should have been in jail for 20 years. <clears throat> Perhaps this might be the time to move for an end to these proceedings. The court will take counsel's motion under advisement. Sorry, Mitch. You know I was going to testify. Yeah, yeah, I know. Look, if you don't need me anymore, uh, can I go? No. Nope. Break up. I need cab fare. Christ, Frank, you got a lot of balls. Jerry, give him the car keys. What? Give him the car keys. Watch your ass. Try looking under the passenger seat.
Great. Well, three years of hard work, the bastard's gonna walk. Take it easy, Jerry. Take it easy. <laughs> you know it! Hey! Suckers! Look who's here. Hey! Nice play, suckers! Easy, Tom. I know you meant just to never put me away. Hey! I know about you, man. Jim, you're a dead man. How much time you got? Six months? Maybe seven? How the hell are you gonna put me away? Let me tell you something, Mitchum. I'm gonna dance on your fucking grave. I'm gonna piss on it, you bush league incompetent fuck! I would like to have known your friend, Brian. Yeah. He was a good guy. Thanks for coming to the funeral. Trip down memory lane. Maybe I'll even go back into the undertaking business. Legit. <laughs> You're a character, you know that? Sorry about your Uncle Brian. You know, I wish we would have uh, met differently. You stay in touch, huh? I doubt it. Take care of yourself, Mrs. Collins. Are you going to be relocated? I'm doing it myself this time. You worried all about Mitchum? No. He's got problems of his own. You know, the guy did what he had to do, and I respect that. Kenny, come on. Frankie, get his front seat. Maybe I will settle down. Maybe. Thank you.